Chasers. Hey, Storm Chasers, we're back, and we need to get into Christian Combs, Stevie J, and, of course, <clears throat> Diddy, all right? Apparently, some more details have come out on the whole Christian Combs assault case, and um, I want to give you all my thoughts on everything. I want to give you all my thoughts on Stevie J's Instagram post as well, okay? All right? Let me know y'all can hear me and see me. We're going to get right on into it. We're going to get right on into it, okay? I know it takes a minute for everybody to get in, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm pretty sure y'all can hear me. Okay, perfect. So we finna get on into it. So according to the Neighborhood Talk, they say Christian Combs' alleged sexual assault reportedly captured on audio during studio session, okay? This is all, uh, this is all linked back to the Little Rod producer lawsuit, okay? Woman is heard saying, don't touch my legs like that. Take your hands off my ass. Okay? So they got the audio. And I'm here to let you know, baby, if they got the audio, Christian is donezo. Now, he looked like his daddy. He wanted to stunt like his daddy. He couldn't come up with it. He couldn't create his own identity, his own personality, his own swag. Copied everything from his daddy down to the assaultation, allegedly, but couldn't copy the work ethic. Couldn't copy the innovation. Couldn't make no good music. And barely could even do the damn Diddy Bop. And we know that Diddy barely does the Diddy Bop. Diddy could never dance. Diddy could never sing. I really don't know how y'all was so impressed with him over the years. Okay? So let's get on and read this, all right? According to court documents, a woman named Grace Omarkay, or McKay, or McKay, uh, let's just call her Grace, claimed she was sexually assaulted by Christian on a yacht in 2022, and that Diddy aided in his behavior. Not a train, not a sexual assaultation train, not a three-way. What kind of freaky ass fantasy is this? Daddy, uh, Papa, and the son uh, uh dicking down uh the lady. And not even a lady that wanted to do it consensually. Now, let me tell y'all this one. I was, uh, you know, a little while. Well, it's probably about a year, year and a half back. I was at a sex club and I met a chick that said she had just got through having a threesome with a father and a son. You know, a Eiffel Tower, or Devil's Threesome, whatever you actually want to call it. So these things, they, they do happen. They do happen. But I'm going to keep reading, but... Damn, not the not the daddy helping him or word the girl. This ain't no better than um Austin McBroom and his daddy and allegedly what they was doing to them little Brazilian girls down there. That ultimately led to his divorce, but I'll you know say that story for another day. All right. They say she has audio of her of Christian uh, assaulting her because there was a studio on the yacht where Christian was recording at the time. Recording what? Because he ain't never released nothing that we like. Has Christian ever released any music that y'all liked or cared about? Called himself King Combs, and I still don't know what he was king of because he had not even made headway in, in, in music to be calling himself a king. I had never heard him do a freestyle of a 16 bar. Nothing! Nothing! King of what? You know, his name should have been Daddy Number Two, Diddy Number Two, Daddy's Baby, but you know... That's McMill. I guess McMill had daddy's baby name tech, so he couldn't do that. Anyway, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, with none other than Little Rod, if you can recall, Little Rod is the reason Diddy is being investigated for alleged sex trafficking. Now, it appears the producer was collecting evidence the entire time he was employed by Diddy. Mm. Grace says she was working... Uh, as staff for the charter service, and Christian took a liking to her. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So he took a liking to the charter to the boat, the yacht staff. Wow, all right, he liked his girls medium poor too. She included transcripts of audio clips recorded by Lil Rod that she states are evidence of her denying his advances as Christian gropes her. She said, excuse me, you don't touch my legs like that. I'll move my legs where I want to. Grace is heard saying in the recording, if I want to do this, then I will. You don't touch my legs like that, end quote. All right, and then Christian Combs said, listen, 
you and everybody in the crew. Hold up. Christian then says, Christian then, then says, wait, wait, wait. Listen, you and everybody in the crew, I can't. I have to go down. I have to go down. Grace says she informed him that her boss would have to permit her to remain in the studio, something she knew they wouldn't do. And Christian asked who he needed to speak to. Who can I talk to? I'm going to say I requested you right now. Oh, uh, so Christian said, I'm my daddy's son. I'm Diddy's son. Is Diddy. Hold up. Is Diddy. The D, the I, the D, the D, the Y. Is Diddy. Hold up. Is Diddy. Wow. So he just think he can do whatever he want, whenever he want, wherever he want. But I told y'all yesterday, or day before last, whenever here we've been talking about this story so many damn days. I already didn't told y'all that the people, and I got sources that done told me he's rude to staff everywhere he goes, everywhere from the drivers to the doctors to the to the club, the people at the club, the DJs, the the everywhere he go, he thinks that he is God's gift to earth. He thinks that he walks on water. He thinks that. He, he think that his shit don't stink. He really think that he is somebody. And really him and none of them kids is anybody, to be honest. Damn. This is why his black ass should be in school. Um, Let's see. Uh, uh, well, who can I talk to? I'm going to say I requested you right now. Christian said, according to the suits. Then he goes, quote, well, no, she goes, Quote, well, you can take your hand off my ass for the first thing, Grace responded. Grace says Christian pressure her to take shots. Take that, take that, like that, like that, which she believes may have been spiked. She says that the alleged assault had a deep impact on her mental health as well as her professional and personal life since her boss didn't believe the alleged assault happened. She is seeking unspecified damages. All right, he even looked like a damn demon in the face. It's like his dad. He low key looked like somebody that slobbers on themselves. Yeah, ever see somebody that just be drooling on themselves all the time? Can't even close his mouth. Look like a damn mouth breather. You know, I don't know if he got an over yonder bite like Doctor Heavenly. I don't know if he got fake teeth. I don't know what's going on. These are some interesting looking motherfuckers. But he got that look in his eye too, and. You know, he offers absolutely nothing to the world. You know, he's showing his chains and his pearls and, oh, he shows his eight pack or he shows his wife. And I'm not hating, but I'm just saying, what have you done? What have you given back to the world? You have not accomplished anything yet. You are not your daddy. Imagine this face being the last thing you see crawl on top of you or bend you over before you black out from some shit eating and putting your motherfucking drink. Yeah, he does look like he on the spectrum. Apparently my ass autistic. He definitely is giving Asperger's on it. He's definitely giving a touch of Downs. Let's just be real. And that's no shade to my Downs people. I love Downs and the people. But he's definitely giving that he got a touch of the Downs. And if we know one thing about a touch of the Downs, yo shit, you be mad fucking strong. They be some strong ass people. Anyway, so we're going to move on. So Stevie J, steady posts and stuff. I'm sure, you know, Diddy and his PR team is asking Stevie J to do this because Stevie J is the only one that is publicly sticking by Diddy's side. He is determined to be there for daddy, 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 daddy. All right. Now, I don't. Let, let me ask y'all something. Who do y'all think have the better sex life, Diddy and Meek Mill or Diddy and Stevie J? Who y'all think have the best sex life out of the two? Like, who do y'all think get it on the most? I dare say Diddy enjoys himself the most with Meek Mill. I dare so. You know, when I see Meek Mill and Diddy, I see, like, you know, that same-sex couple that, like, you know, buys an apartment off Fifth Ave. And, like, they've been living together for 20 years. And 
Big Mama still just say that's his special friend, but you know that ain't that ain't Uncle Sean's special friend. That's that's Uncle Sean's boyfriend. It is what it is, you know. And he seems to be his happiest with Meek Mill, and that's low key probably his soulmate. Like I think I think Diddy and Stevie J probably have the dirtiest kind of sense because Stevie J definitely gives that he don't douche. If he is the bot, oh, they both really give verse low key, but you know, I, I think I think he pulls out all the bells and whistles when it comes to Stevie J. I think Stevie J is so freaked out, so nasty, so disgusting, so gutter, and so whored out that you know you really can't do nothing. But you know, you gotta put Stevie J in whips and chains and beat his ass and throw him around in order for him to get off. You know, it takes it probably takes a lot to get Stevie J to bust, but when it comes to meat meal. You know, you know, uh, Diddy and Meek Mill definitely give let's make love before dinner. And then Stevie J is like, you know, the third person they call in after they didn't got drunk and high on all kinds of coca Lena. That's what it gives. Okay. But look, look at this post here from Stevie J. And I'm going to tell y'all what. He said, this is what a real Diddy party looks like. But you see, look at everybody that's there. Now, I'm going to ask y'all what y'all think about this. And I'm going to, oh, I see Kim there, Beyonce, Jay-Z, Channel and Jean-Michel Basquiat, Cardi B, the kids. Uh, I think I saw Morgan Freeman back there, too. Diddy P, look, LeBron James there, Mary J. Blige, oh, Mary J. Blige, the industry slave, she got to sing at every fun, I mean, they make her do the same, do the same damn dance, that's on that, Queen Latifah, y'all singing the same song, same people, like, I, uh. I can only imagine this nigga is a menace to be around. Kevin Hart, okay. Now, 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 now. What did y'all get? From this video, what do y'all think Stevie J? Because you know Diddy had him post this. What do you think that Stevie J and Daddy is really trying to tell us? Bingo, you got it. He's letting you know who needs to go down with him. You got it. All that, all that shit in the comments talk about, oh, you you sticking by your bar, boy, you sticking by your bro. I don't get about none of that. Wait, this was a, this was a, see, I got to read between the lines. That was Diddy letting the world know. I wasn't doing this by myself. And if I'm going down, everybody going with me, everybody, everybody played a part. It was no different than the stuff that went on at the Playboy Mansion. Everybody was getting down and was down with the get down. And he got tapes and he got audios. That's what this was about from Kim Kardashian, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Everybody, they all in on it. Wasn't nothing he was doing that was a secret. That's what he was letting everybody know. And if any of them get out of line, start doing interviews, Oh, shit is going to start magically getting released. Because you got to keep this in mind. Diddy had cameras and audio recording devices all over his house, right? So what happened? Th really think about it. When you go to these types of parties, you might think, Oh, shit, well, let me get out the way. You know, they filming in that room, cameras out here, phones out here. You know, I'm finna go, you know, let's say, let's say it's two, two niggas. Okay, I'm finna go smash you in this closet. Well, I'm finna, 
no pun intended, or find a spare bedroom on the third level. Oh, I'm finna uh, uh, blow your back out in here, not knowing you secretly recorded. So even though there was nobody recording you like this, it was a little bitty bug in the upper right hand corner of that room that caught everything. If anybody get out of the line, that's your ass. <laughs> Shout out to Cindy. She said there are two parties, usually the actual party and the after party. Joe Budden said it himself last week on the podcast. And best believe, a lot of them still go to the after party. Mm, mm, mm. Any comments? Any comments? Did y'all want me to get into this stuff with um? Damn, it's thirty five hundred y'all here. Did y'all want me to get into this stuff with uh? What, what's that little What's that little girl's name? Aoki Lee Simmons. Did y'all want me to get into that that stuff with Aoki Lee Simmons? Hold on, we'll pull it up. Cause somebody sent me this. Let me see. So this is uh, uh, Kamora and Russell Lee, Russell Lee, Kamora and Russell Simmons' daughter, Aoki Lee Simmons. She's 21 years old on vacation with a 65-year-old man kissing them down. Now, first thing I said is, why is she out there with Smokey Robinson? <laughs> and I said, wait a minute, that ain't Smokey. That's some light skinned black man, a mixed man, half Uh, Maine uh, said Cassie unreleased single for life. Get into them lyrics. Rihanna and Omar Grant wanted the song Black Coffee, uh, said no, but kept the song for Cassie only for Diddy to sabotage her again and block it. Wow. He even, he even got the body of an old man. Why is she? Yeah, he kind of looked like Stedman. Why is this little girl on vacation? Well, she a grown woman. I can't say nothing. She grown. So he, she grown at 21. He grown at 65. But I said, damn, girl, do you miss your daddy this much? You miss your daddy this damn much that you got to go slob down somebody that's about to knock the doors off the retirement home in the retirement community? He's supposed to be spanking the panties off of Pearlene, Earl, Ruby, you see what I'm saying? Della Reese. He's supposed to be knocking the panties off Della Reese. Why is he knocking the panties off Aoki? This old man then took every blue chew, sit in the field, C. Alice that they made. And he is perked up, peeled up, and ready to go. He popped that blue pill 30 minutes ago, had him a good cheeseburger down there on the beach, two whiskey sours, and now he ready to give this girl the worms and blow her young little coochie out. Does she really want to be there with this old ass man or is she being sold and pimped? Is somebody short of money? Because Russell ain't sending no more motherfucking money. That's done. You dig? That's done. Russell already let you know. He told a bitch. <laughs> the bit of my money I got left, I got to live over here in Indonesia for the rest of my life. Your mammy spent the rest of it on her uh, crack-ass, crack-ass husband. So ain't no more motherfucking money. <laughs> she gonna give Papa a heart attack. She ride him too hard. I mean, I hope she's happy. I, 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 I hope she's happy. But wow, the things that we do for money. I say we should. I'm not getting digged down, but you get the point. I would get with an old, uh, old rich bitch, though. I would. I would. I ain't gonna hold you. If I met me a share or a what's an older uh, fine woman, uh, uh, Angela Bassett. Uh, uh, I was gonna say Tina Turner, but she did. She did as hell. Um, uh, uh, think of a rich old lady. A rich old lady. They want some company. She. 
I would too. Janet Jackson, yep. Pam Greer, yep. Does Pam Greer got money like that? Paula Dean, oh, I but knock the panties off Paula Dean. Fonny Willis, yeah, she got the Fonny got that gorilla grip coochie. Only one I probably couldn't do is Madonna because she looked like her breath stank. Yep, Lynn Whitfield, Loretta Devine, yep. Oprah, yep. I'm just keeping it real with you. I do, man, what? Especially if she, oh, Storm, you can have whatever show you want, you. Whatever you want, I put you on the cover of any magazine, baby. Mm -hmm. The eggs is dried, fried, and laid to the side, so no rubber. Oh my God, yes. Martha Stewart definitely would knock the pants off Martha Stewart. Shit, all you need is some Astro Glide, some KYJ. All you need is a little loop. You good. Don't bend her legs too far back because you know you don't want to, you know, fuck up her hips. Done. Yeah, I would skeet all in, Dolly Parton. Whoopi Goldberg, too. Even with her cane. <laughs> I'm just saying. Gail King, yep, Gail King still, yep, but it was, and I would convince Gail King to, to find a new wig. She wearing the same wig for 30 years. Jasmine got her too. Felicia Rashad, her too. Sheila E, her too. They gotta have money though. Money on top of money on top of money. Gotta have money though. Queen like Queen Latifah don't like men. She don't like dick. Lunel, hell, well, Lunel, that's the homie. But hell yeah. If Lunel wanted to take care of me, hell yeah. Lunel a freak. <laughs> now, this this man's name is uh Vittorio Asaf. He's the founder of Serafina. Let's see. Founder of Seraphina. Okay, so here he is right here. So he's Italian. Serafina Restaurant Group was founded in 1995. Oh, shit, I was two years old. By Vittorio Asaf and Fabio Granado. All right. Have you ever been at a restaurant? I've never been at a restaurant. Any New York people? By the way, shout out to the New York people. I heard y'all was uh shaking in a tumbling. I heard y'all was shaking like a brand new GE washer and dryer. So y'all didn't know what was going on. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. Well, he look a little colored on the beach, but he is an Italian, and you know, some them Italians do tan very well. Oh, yeah, this is money on top of money, baby. Do it like it's your B day, baby. This girl ain't nothing ain't, ain't doing nothing but being escorted. That's all. Yep, he got some bread. He can make some things happen. I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at her. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not mad at all. So thank you guys for tuning in. I mean, unless I got any other comments. <laughs> yeah, he looked it like he could have been, you know, like one of them light-skinned colored fellas. I wouldn't know nothing about that being dark skin, but you know. Uh, let's see. Stevie J was letting Meek me Mills know they, that he's Diddy's man for. Wow. Wow. The escort, not prostitute. We're going to say escort, okay? Escort. Um, let's see. Yep, her daddy cut her off. Yep. Basically, you're saying it's okay to use people for money. They're using you for your use and your energy. 
What you think them old ass people uh, uh coming to you for when you got your youth? This for your youth and your energy. So you gonna drain me? I'm gonna drain your pocket. But I don't under. What's the problem? Or is you out here still dating for love? Well, shit, dating for love will keep you poor. Just keeping it real. Escort that social security. <laughs> One hand watches the other. Exactly. And another thing y'all got to realize, too, it ain't tricking if you got it. And thank you to, uh, wait, I couldn't even see who that was. It went by so fast. Uh, Jessica Reyes said, I enjoy your lives, your authentic authenticity in the Gusta Report, but no one would. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, appreciate that super chat. Yeah. Everybody out here getting used. You better you better get something out the deal. Uh, even swap ain't no swindler. Okay, people, we out of here. We'll be back a little later. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Storm shot.